How many know it's a blessing to give God praise? Amen. At all times. Praise God. Especially when you're going through. And somebody say it confuses the enemy. Glory to God. How many know we got victory in Jesus tonight? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it's a blessing to be in the house of God one more time. We do thank God for everybody pressing their way out tonight. Amen. Praise God this first night. Amen. The Youth Revival. Amen. It's been a while since we had a Youth Revival. Let me just, amen, cover expectation on tonight. Amen. Looking forward to receive. Amen. Amen. To rejoice in the Lord and give God thanks. Amen. Amen. And just thank God for all the young people and opportunity to see what God is doing, amen, in their life, and how he's moving, raising them up, amen, and glory to God, and preserving the righteous seed, amen, we'd like to start giving honor tonight to our pastor, Pastor Anderson, come on, put your hands together, God, thank God for her leadership, amen, thank God tonight for everybody, thank God for all the neighbors, the musicians, thank God for the musicians, God is good, ain't he? Yeah. All the time. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We just, amen, going to move forward. Amen. The service tonight. Amen. We're going to receive a welcome tonight. Amen. By, praise God, Brother David Knight. Come give us a welcome on tonight. <laughs> in the church. We're going to work in the church of Dothan. Yeah. Our first night of youth revival. Yeah. Okay, amen? Amen. All right, we want to thank you, worship together, and we're going to worship for the Lord. Let's kick it off. Amen. No, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank God for the night. Amen. Let's kick it off right Amen. Thank God. We're going to praise God. Move on and amen. Have a scripture reading tonight. Amen. By Wes Lapkin Jr. Come give us a scripture reading tonight. Thank God for him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our scripture will be coming from Philippians 4 through 12. Um, I know both how to be a base and I know how to be above everywhere. And in all things, I am instructed both to, to be full and to be hungry, both to burn and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Amen. Amen. I give Jesus a real good thank you. Thank you.
because I, I'll be honest, you know, coming to church, right, you know, people, you have the word, you have heard that people say that you draw strength from the, the saints. It's in the word as well, you know. Amen. Never in, you know, can I say that I just felt that I got strength from coming to church. I just came to church because it was just the right thing to do. Amen. And, and God just, you know, and I want to come to church. But when I came in the doors tonight, amen, my Bible heard me pretty good and all kind of stuff, amen. But after that praise, amen, I feel pretty good, amen. And I just thank God, amen, that I made it tonight, amen, and I got a little looseness in that Bible. Amen. Because I was walking real slow when I hit that door, amen. amen. And I just appreciate the Lord, amen, for just allowing me to make it. Amen. Amen. Because I feel as if he don't do nothing else for me, amen, he don't loosen up this body. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just appreciate the Lord. Amen. I, I, I join it on in the Lord. Y'all pray for me. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the praise. Praise God. Thank God for the power of praise. Amen. amen. It's good. It works all kind of ways. Thank God for it. Amen. A testimony on tonight. Amen. Anybody that's got a testimony to share with receive, but we're going to move on in the service. Thank God tonight. I ask my niece to come say something. Hey, Sister Nikwa. Thank God for her tonight. Thank God for her. And God is doing in her life. Just a blessing. Amen. So God moving in your family life. Amen. Praise God. God 
good. Amen. I say, ain't God good? Amen. Hey, man, I really thank God for my son. But it's just one thing I can say. That in the midst of my mess, my son loved me through it all. Amen. And it's a blessing because you don't find too many kids that will stick by your by their parents in hardship. But unfortunately, I was blessed to have a son that loved me like I was there every day. That's a blessing. I love my baby for that. That's my big baby. Now. Amen. Giving honor to God, which is the head of my life. Amen. My family, my mom, my sister, everybody here. Uh, pastor, co-pastor, just everybody. My wife, her absence, man. I, I'm just blessed to have you all here with me tonight. I thank God for a day in this night. Just for me, it's always special to be here on this Sunday's night, these Sunday nights. Amen. Bow your head as we go into prayer. First, God, I want to ask you, in the name of Jesus, that you forgive me for all of my sins, Lord. All is short of your glory. Lord, on tonight, God, you see the needs of your people, and you always seem to it. You're a God that see to the needs, God. Burdens need to be lifted, God. Ways need to be made, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus on tonight, God, I, I ask God that you move me out the way, God. I am a unit vessel, God, so use me, Lord. For the spirit of what we have need of, Lord God. God, take my hands and use them, God. My feet and my legs, God. My mind and my mouth to talk with God. My eyes to see spiritually, Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, I set up a special prayer for her husband, Lord. Ha! Lord, I pray that you move. For God, I've been incarcerated, Lord. God, you either mean for me to go up to him. Make a way out of nowhere, God. God is a faith-based woman, God. We can't see, but we must believe first that you is able to do all things but fail, Lord. On tonight, God, I stand in the gap, Lord, with everything in me, Lord. In that need, God. God, I pray for the one that sick be strengthen their mind of God. Need a move, God. Need a touch by you, God. I stand in that camp, God, asking you, Lord, with a humble heart, God, to move, Lord. Pray for strength, Lord. Pastor, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, give me a little bit more. Go ahead, Lord. More strength. Everything that she need, God, you know. I pray for each and everybody in this building on tonight, God. It was your spirit that draws. It was your spirit that draws us all, Lord. Because we have a need, God, a little bit more salvation, God, a little bit more Holy Ghost, God. God, we have a need, Lord. God, I pray this prayer. I pray this prayer. I pray this prayer. In the name of Jesus, 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 ay, ay, ay. Jesus, ay, ay, ay. Ooh. On tonight, God, in Jesus' name, I pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Everybody say amen. Amen. I'm going to try to say this song before we got our bass there. Yo, my brother, yo. Amen. Y'all, I really am glad to see my mama. Amen. I talk to my mama every day. And I have fun with my mama every day. My mama has seen me in some dark days. And you wouldn't understand it unless you got some kids you love. I worry about Chris. I can't live his life. But I, I, I just pray. But I'm telling you, it's a blessing to have parents that's concerned. Yes. 
and a church family that know how to pray. Mm-hmm. These folks here know how to pray. You hear me? Glad I got Jesus. Glad I got situation like this. But go ahead. I remind you when Jesus was talking to Moses. When Moses brought up he couldn't talk. In other words speech wasn't good. God told him don't even worry about that. Just go. And I'll speak. Not only did God told him to go, but God put somebody on his side to go with him. Amen. I've been going through some tough stuff. But I thank God that I'm able to withstand. Because I want to. It's just like the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost make you live right. It helps you to live right. You got to want to. 
I remember years ago when I used to be co confronted with situations, I'd be wanting to back up. Because I thought I was missing something in the word. But I'm so glad that God fixed it this time. He made sure that when I need to go through in Jesus, that I won't look back and got nothing to go back to. That's a blessing. Because sometimes when we confront it with a situation, we want to tuck our tail and buy down. And I can understand because it takes away your view from God. That's what the devil do. If he can take your eyes off the prize, he can control your mind. And if he can control your mind, he can control the way you think, the way you move. But I'm so glad that even though the, the way of blur, I can go off what God has brought me from. I can go off on what has been putting me and still to me right. after church service after church service right. or what I, my grandma or my auntie them have taught me. Yeah. You got to pray. Right. Even when you don't see no way, right. hold on to what you got. The looking that you have, hold to. Y'all don't hear me. Right. It get wrong. Sometimes you can be confronted with a monster. With a giant. That, that it seems like you can't defeat. You can't do it with your strength, but God can. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> I heard a man say that weeping may endure for night, but joy cometh in the morning. I heard. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I was reading the Bible. My mind went back. To a story in the Bible days when we was talking about David and Goliath. When it came down to it, everybody was in fear of the size of the giant. Everybody was backing up and was afraid. Because of the victory that this giant carried, named Goliath. But David had reflected on when God helped him defeat the impossible, what he had came encounter to right. with a lion. Yeah. And he used it because it seemed so impossible with man and by man and by the eyesight. He seen that God did the impossible and it did something to his faith. Yeah. And he was able to tell everybody, get out of the way. I, I step to it. Yeah. I know a God. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I know a God. Yeah. That is able yeah. to do all things. Yeah. But for them, yeah. they would step to it. And told him exactly what he's going to do. Yeah. When I kill you, I'm going to cut your head off. That's how we got to go forth sometimes, y'all. We got to build it up yeah. and, cons and confront our problems and our situations yeah. and our trials and our tribulations. Yeah. I'm reminded yeah. of another story yeah. in the Bible All right. when it's talking about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Yeah. I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about how they fought. Billy <laughs> But I'm reminded of a story of Shadrach, Meshach, and a video. But one thing about it, they also stood up. We ain't finna bow to your God. Yeah. We be serving a real one. Right. Put us in the fight. Mm -hmm. He'll be with us. Mm -hmm. And if he don't deliver us out of it, it don't mean he can't. Yeah. We got to remind ourselves, church, yeah. that God is able yeah. to do all things yeah. but faith. Amen. 
I used to tell my mom. I used to be high as a cat. I used to tell my mom. I said, Mama, I said, one day, one day, it ain't going to be like this. I said, one day, it ain't going to be like this. That cocaine was a jerk. It was a Goliath in my life. Every time I had a problem, I run to the cocaine. Every time things didn't go right, I ran to the cocaine. Come on, somebody. Every time I had a problem, I had to go get that bag. Come on, somebody. I had to call up a drug dealer for one day. I went back to the altar. One Thursday night. And God was leave to touch my life. Just come to him. Can what you're going through, stay in the ship. I don't care how hard they rock, stay in the ship. I don't care what it looks like, stay in the ship. We got to learn to lean and depend on Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't no need of taking our tail and running. Let's step up, church, because we serve the Almighty. We serve the I am that I am. That's what God told him to tell him. That's what God told him, Moses, to tell the children of Israel. Tell them that I am. Yeah. That I am. All right. He comes to see. God comes to heal. Yeah. Come to deliver. Yeah. He comes to make a way. Yeah. Out of no way. I'm reminded. Yeah. Of another story. Right. Oh Peter. All right. Thought he seen the spirit. In the water, after God separated himself from the multitude of people, and sent them off. And, and Peter, the old day, day in the boat, got afraid to see the spirit. And, it, and, and they see the spirit, and <laughs> looked out there. God told him to be of good cheer in his eye. He told him to step out and walk. Peter had enough faith to step out of the boat and walk on the water. But his faith was kind of small because he got strapped. He seemed strong. Bigger than, he felt like bigger than anything. He began to see. But God, in the midst of, reached down and saved. That's how God is with us, not to. In the midst of our going through, facing our adversities. God's hand is still stretched forth. Yeah. He knows the level of our faith. Yeah. Amen. I just come here to encourage you. Yeah. Amen. Hang on in there. Yeah. Be of good cheer. Yeah. Keep your hand in God's hand. Mm. Oh, that's what I'm doing now. Mm. Hanging on in there with everything I got. Yeah. And I'm so glad I ain't got nothing to go back to. I mumble, I complain, I fuss, but I thank God that I'm saved. Saved, saved, saved. Amen. 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 Y'all sleep. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I'm going to get on that y'all way. Amen. Make it short, sweet and simple. Amen. Amen. Short, but Amen. I'm going to preach in the power. Yes, sir. God. Yes, sir. That's how I want to do it. Amen. My desire. You think in church? Amen. Yeah, strength. Yeah. Hands. That's feeling. Yeah. Amen. That's, that's my desire. That's all right. Get that connected to God. Yeah. Like I'm supposed to. Right. Amen. So I can be a help to somebody. It's all about soul. Yeah, yeah. Amen. It's easy to get distracted. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. And want to turn around. I, 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 I've been back with the Lord about five years now. I ain't going to tell you how many times I thought about it. I can't do that no more. <laughs> because the way get dark sometimes. Mm -hmm. To be honest. That's why it's simple that you keep a prayer line. Yeah. 
Stay in church. Yeah. I'm telling you. Stay around the strong. Mm -hmm. Consult with the God. Mm -hmm. Because the devil is waiting. Especially if you're a threat to the kingdom. Right. When you get saved on God's side, you become a witness. Right. See, the devil want to stop the gospel. Yeah. So if he can stop the gospel, he can stop folks from being saved. Right. I'm a firm believer that preachers, pastors, different ones go through the most. Yeah. Because a church can't hear without a preacher. Right. How can a church hear unless a preacher is sick? Yeah. It's a lot of preachers, but it's the one that's sick is one that's going to take the, that's going to have the most effect right. because they hear from God directly. Right. They got a message for the people. Yes. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Be of good cheer. I love y'all.